days of vlogging, 88 days of boringness, 88 days of randomness. Uh, had a customer this morning, had a really nice Asus laptop, gaming laptop. Had to turn them away, unfortunately, because the repair would have been, the repair is simple and cheap. Wouldn't have cost a lot, but I don't have the exp expertise to accomplish the repair. It would have required, all right, it was a DC jack that needed to be replaced. So I would have had to solder and I don't have soldering skills. So I would have risked damaging the product. So what I did instead is I referred them to somebody and then I called that somebody and said, hey, do you do this? And they said, yeah, we can do that. And so I called the customer that I referred because they had left at this point and let them know that, uh, that uh, P or PC Medics of Virginia or Fredericksburg was able to do the job and they're expecting them and they could get it repaired. So that's that. So a second ago I was recording outside and I stopped talking randomly. That's because I still get a little shy when I'm recording in front of other people. So not a lot I could do about that. Let's see if we can block some of that that reflection or glare. Uh, I'm working on overcoming my shyness and talking when there's other people around. Should button up my button, huh? My friend Rebecca's here. I was working on her PC for her that she's going to give to her nephew, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think I have any plans for the rest of the day. So... There's the new employee, that lady. I forgot her name. There's Rebecca. Tori was just here and she's gone. Really? Yeah. We thought she worked this evening. Yeah, I thought today was going to be her last day working. Yeah. Well. Half tea night. Yes. Just you? Yep. I forgot your name. Carol, Carol, say hi to my vlog. No. <laughs> That's Carol, the new, the new employee here. Stop. Stop. All right, well. She's gonna get you in line for me, aren't you? I can't do it. Nobody can put me in check. I'm too, I'm too rebellious. As I can tell by the dress. I'm back. Aren't you happy to see me? I know y'all missed me. I wanted to show you guys. All right, well, first of all, I went to go pick up some paint for the wall to paint that wall over there white for the projector. Went and picked up some uh, kitchen stuff, uh, scrub brush and sponge sort of thing. Uh, and then I went to the uh, antique shop. And I was like, oh, wow, I, I, I didn't think I was going to find anything I would be interested in. But I did. I spent $26.00. And I feel like I came out all right. Let me show you what it is that I got. So... Now, I'm not a big comic book guy, but I am sort of a collector of some odd and end things, especially number one comics. Comics that are issue number one. I know it's not focused. Let me see if I can fix that. There you go. Uh, so, I'm going to go through and show you guys the different comics I was able to grab uh, today at the antique shop. There were some other ones that I did look at. Like there was one that was The Rise of Apocalypse. I didn't want to spend the money to get that one because it was uh, considerably more expensive than the rest of these. So here we go. Solo Adventures of Hawkeye and Mockingbird. It's in pretty decent condition. I'm not like a a person that can judge on this stuff, so I can't tell you. Uh, but yes, it's number one. The Adventures of X-Men, of the X-Men, issue number one. Now you guys are going to 
are going to realize that I'm a big fan of uh, of X-Men and Wolverine in particular when you go through this pile. Because that is probably the only comic in the whole stack that isn't X-Men related in some fa fashion. Alright, there's that. Pretty good condition too. X-Men 2099, number one. See, I have Spider-Man 2099, number one. Now I have the X-Men 2099. Ah, you know what I mean. Sweet, right? This one is just, I think it's a newer one, but I'm not sure it was in a good case. I like the cover, though I have no idea what's actually happening in it. Then we got X-Men Unlimited, number two. I've always been a fan of Magneto. I think this one's the one that has the, has the little card in it, too. Let that focus there. There we go. See if we can get in closer. Get the glare out. There you go. So, it's a pretty thick one, too. Cool, right? Weapon X. After Xavier, the Age of Apocalypse. I'm not sure what number this is because it doesn't actually say, oh, June, or it's number four. And then, here we are. These day, do have a case, but they came in a bulk case, so I took them out to look at each one. X-Men Classics. Death at the Edge of the Universe. X-Men Classics again. I'm going to set these in a separate pile since they are not protected. Number 59. The other one was number 66. Number 68. Then we get into Uncanny X-Men. Number 309. The Uncanny X-Men number 305. And these are all in really surprisingly good condition. X-Men Deluxe, number, let's, it doesn't seem to have a number on this one. Oh, number 331. Iceman versus Generation X's White Queen. Enough said. The Uncanny X-Men number, probably at the bottom again, 330. Guest for the, oh, Quest for the Crimson Dawn, okay. There you go. Again, really good condition. The Uncanny X-Men. This looks like it's in the older style. Or, uh, classics. Some of the original. 185. Decent. With some binding creases, unfortunately. And then here we go. This is my section. This is where my favorite stuff is. Wolver Weapon X. Wolverine. The Age of Apocalypse. Bam. It's number three. Nice, right? Put that over with the other Weapon X, which I believe is also... Uh, yep. So. And that's number four. I got number three and number four. Decent. I think there was another one that I could have gotten, but I ended up putting it back like an idiot. So now I missed out on that. Wolverine Gambit. I like the hollow. I like that. This is issue number. All new special edition or special event. Issue number two. Nice. Classic Wolverine right here. Wolverine number 49. The journey continues if my life be a lie. This one's number 99. Hershey, that is really rude, ma'am. Little lady. Butt out. All right. Number 78, Wolverine. Direct edition 
I think that's direct to like market. I've got some limited stuff that isn't direct edition. Wolverine. Can we see the uh, the pattern here? Number 54. X-Men 29, number 13. X-Men Adventures, number 61. Nope, I think it's number 9. There we go. I don't know where I got 61. Very nice, very nice. So now we got some X-Factor. X-Factor number 117. Nice again. Ooh. Archangel. What number are we here? Number 34. Some classic stuff here. Number 8. Nice. Number 74. X Man. This one I don't believe had a number on. Oh no, it's on the bottom too, I'm sure. Number. 9. Yeah, number 9. Generation X. Number 16. And the last one, Excalibur. I'm not a big collector of comic books. It's number 88. I'm not a big collector of comic books, but I, I occasionally indulge myself and get something. Uh, there you have it. I indulged myself a little bit today. I spent $26 for all of that. So I don't think that was all that bad. What are you doing over there, bird? Do you want to come see me? Do you want to come see the audience? Say hello to the people who don't really care about you whatsoever. Nobody likes you, bird. Nobody likes you. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope that uh, you all enjoyed it. Maybe I'll see you a little bit later today. Today's another one of those days where my brother offered to buy me some dinner, so I'm not going to turn it down. It's not exactly healthy, so I'm going to enjoy some pizza. Sorry, guys. No one's going to turn down a free pizza in their right mind. Especially not when it's your favorite food ever. See you a little bit later. Hello, Mike. What are you doing? Are you frozen? Pretending like you're frozen, but I know you're not. I'm doing. Another day, another lovely day. Yeah, that's right. What did we just do? Got, got a plane ticket for you, man, so you can come see me. That's right. I'm going to go visit my brother and meet my family for the first time in my life. I'm pretty stoked. Yay! Woo! Woohoo! Yeah, we do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that should be pretty cool. Alright, pizza time. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut